Hey everyone, this is Quanagamer here, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Until I Fail, episode 2. The first episode, Destruction Derby, was pretty well received, to be honest, and this one is, well, you'll find out. And I'm not going to skip the introduction like what I did with the last game, so it's by Psychnosis yet again. And... I'll just let this introduction roll out so you can see for yourself what the game is. Yeah, began by Reflections. So the same same people who did the first destruction derby. So there's a pretty cool introduction this. Yeah, and you can tell these are stock cars, so yeah, it's I'll just I'll just say what it is, I'm not really gonna uh, reveal like the the tension that it's just suction RB2, this is what the second episode is. Now, it'll be interesting to see how long I survive on on this game, because in Destruction RB1 I survived for quite a long time, uh while well, the video is like eighteen minutes. So It'd be interesting to see how long I survive on this. Now before I actually start this, I completely forgot to say, a uh, person who inspired me to start this series, well, was by the name of Teal Game Master. And he's a a big YouTuber, well not like, well he is a big YouTuber with 30,000 subscribers, and uh, congratulations Teal Game Master for 30,000. I may be late to the party for saying that, but congratulations for the 30,000. And thank you very much for the inspiration for me to start this series. So anyway, now that's out of the way, I'm going to select my car. Now the loading times for this game are significantly better than the first game. Right, I'm gonna, just going to go the amateur, like I did the last time. And okay, I'm going to go wreck and race and championship. I'll just call myself... I probably won't be able to fit all my name in, so I'll just put myself T-Gamer once again. This music is a bit menacing. Well, not menacing, but it's very haunting. The introduction music. It's like you're about to go into, well, not like hell, but like you're about to go into, well, a lot of destruction. It's basically preparing you for that, so let's go. That's the first track is Pinehole's Raceway, and I'm hoping the game actually works on me, because I know that the disc is not really that good, but in condition now. Yeah, sometimes I might not be able to hear myself talk because of how loud this game is. Right, so here we go. No, I'm just gonna treat this just like a normal race. So I'm gonna try and see if I can avoid the cars. Because it's very easy to wreck a car in this, unlike the first game. And yeah, Ernst was actually a bit more enthusiastic in this one than he was in uh, the first game. He's way out in front. Yeah, I'm first place, so. Uh, even if I come, like, uh, first place, I'll still get race points for, I think I get 50 points for coming first place, which is a great amount of points in my opinion. Oh, I accidentally bumped my car off of the, the barrier there, but I'm still good. He's way out in yeah, if you're in first place, you're going to hear that a lot. It gets pretty repetitive when it says, he's way out in front. It gets pretty repetitive. Pretty repetitive. Oh, I might be able to overlap somebody here. That's L Driver, he's back in this. Learn a driver, in case any of you don't know who I'm talking about, but. He's way out in front. Yeah, I know that's going to get boring when you hear that a lot of the time. And um, jump. The reason why I like this game possibly better than the first one is because, well,. The game is a bit more fast paced than the first one was, although the the controls for this are a bit tight, in my opinion, but it's still an enjoyable game. He's way out in front. Okay, it's still good. Quite like the colour of this car, although the pro car is actually uh, yellow and black. I think that's the car you use in the demo of Destruction Derby. 
Okay, and I heard the sound clipping again in my headphones. That won't happen on the playback though, so that's good. Yeah, this is a pretty simple track to start off with. I mean, if you get wrecked on this one, then, well, it's just a, a stroke of bad luck, I guess. I mean, if I survive on the race tracks on this, I'm definitely going to die or, or fail the bolt. I'm telling you that, that the bolt is, is what's going to cause me to fail this. If I manage to survive the bolt, then I'm going to be really surprised. See if I can get myself some race points. No, probably not going to get any. He's way out in front. Okay, and... Why oh, the music track didn't actually loop this time, like, around from the beginning. I can't look behind me, can I? No, I don't think I can. I can only look behind me if I reverse, and I'm not reversing, so... Okay, final lap is coming up. Yep, final lap, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm going to win this one, so that's good. So yeah, i just been back to college recently, and things have been going pretty well so far. Uh, my performance exam is coming up in a couple of weeks, and... Yeah, I don't see the point of hitting anyone now. Oh, well, I got 10 race points to end the off, so that means I'll probably get 60, but that doesn't really matter. I survived the first race, so... Yeah. Okay, so next race, Chalk Canyon. I remember this track being on the demo version of Destruction RP2 on the, uh, the best racing games. Okay, the graphics are shaking a bit, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'll get in front of you. Nope. This track is a bit harder than the first one. At least I think, if I remember rightly, anyway. I mean, it's been a while since I played the Shucks in RB2, so... Yep, oh, get around this corner. Oh, somebody's about to hit me from behind. Oh, I nearly flipped him over. That could have been good. Oh, no, I'm slipping out of control. Ah. Alright, that could have caused me to fail there. Luckily, nobody hit me. Oh, I got some race points. Oh, great. That's going to cost me, though, so... At least I'm still green though, that's all that, that's all that matters. Oh. Yeah, you can also flip your car over in this as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my position here, but that doesn't matter. As long as I survive, that's all. Oh, when a driver's down there, he, or somebody's down there anyway. Uh, that I managed to make the jump. Okay, and there's a fly buzzing about in front of my face while I'm doing this. Ah! Oh, I got 60 points for some reason. I'm not sure who I hit. I'll need to look back on that. Oh, I went through them! <laughs> well, that's cheating on their part. They must use an, an invisibility uh, cheat code before they started this. Although this game does have a quite a few glitches in this, so... Whoa, right, good. They didn't hit me. Oh! Oh great, my car is yellow now, that's not good. 
I'm probably going to end up failing on this one if I'm not careful. Okay, and oh. Ah! Oh, okay, uh. Yeah, my car's now starting to turn brown. Yeah, he's. This is what I meant by it's so much easier to wreck your car in this. Oh, right, and. Well, someone retired themselves from the race. Well, they wrecked their car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, did a, we, a little spin there, but that's not very good at this, right. I've got two more laps to go. If I survive these next two laps, then I'll be happy. So yeah, back at college and uh, things have been going well so far and today especially because uh, we had a, an open mic event uh, in the, our music group and it looked like that guy wasn't even moving there. Is he stuck? I'm not even going to bother trying to help him because I was just going to, well, delay my chances of surviving in this. Or reduce my chances of surviving, should I say. But we had an open mic session uh, today and... Well, we organised it in our uh, music group, and uh, I had a clarinet practice for the final performance exam. And oh, someone's uh, radiator is blowing there. Oh no! Oh no! Don't flip! Oh no! Flipped over. Oh well. I and the nurse is laughing at me. Yeah, go ahead and laugh all you want. I'd like to see you do better, announcer. But. Yeah, the clarinet practice went well today, and the final performance exam is in a couple of weeks. I mean, I'm feeling a bit nervous about it because the piece that I'm doing, or two pieces that I'm doing, are. Well, see, the bad thing about this car is it's very hard to control the steering, especially if you're going a very well, very fast. I would have expected that a lot more from the professional car. Okay, good. Oh yeah, thank goodness I went through him. Thank goodness I went through that car, otherwise I, I would have probably ended up wrecking my car. Possibly. Oh, fourth place, that's good. Nope. I ended up smashing the third place car, but that didn't get me any points. Oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, next race, Capior County Raceway. Now, this one should be easy to survive on. Like, how long has the video been so far? 12 minutes 55. Yeah, I think for the Destruction Derby series, why can't they make any more games like on the next gen consoles? Like, something like this. Because I think the Destruction Derby games are pretty good. Uh, Destruction Derbies 1 and 2 are the only game, uh, excuse me, only full games I've ever played. Uh, Destruction Derby Raw, I haven't played, well I've played a demo of it and it seemed like it was a pretty good game. I haven't played uh, Destruction Derby Arenas though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to turn that game audio down when I edit this, because that, that game audio is way too loud. Even though uh, my headphones are, like, turned, like, not all the way down, they're like at 10. And it's still quite loud. And I quite like the music for this game as well. It definitely emphasizes that you're uh, into a dis that you're definitely into a destruction area. Oh. Yeah, uh, Chalk Canyon, I could have failed on that one, but I didn't, so that's good. Yeah, you're going to keep hearing him again. Okay, I'm approaching some cars now. Is that the trash man that's uh, at the back? Yeah, it is.
okay, and yeah, the when you hit the cars, uh, there's no dialogue this time around, you just get race points and that's it. Um, I remember like in the first game that you got dialogue. I'm trying not to take any chances here, but because this race is kind of getting boring, I'm trying to uh, smash some cars to uh, ease up the tension. Or we're trying to, oh no, no, trying to get more intensified. Sometimes I get my words mixed up and on commentary, which is kind of funny, uh, according to some people anyway, like from what I know anyway. It can be quite funny sometimes, getting my commentary mixed up. I mean, sometimes I might do it on purpose for laughs, but sometimes I just do it out of the ordinary. Wow, total destruction. Oh, we haven't heard that dialogue yet. Final lap. On you, I'm getting you out of the way. There we are. And excuse the uh, nose, I've uh, a bit choked up. Uh, I don't know if, it, if it's the cold. It could very well be. I mean, it was a rainy day on uh, yesterday, and like I'm walking back home from college, I got completely soaked. So there was a bit of bad luck there yesterday when I was walking back. Uh, from college to the flat, so... Alright, next race. SEM Motorplex, the home of stock car racing. Well, this isn't stock car racing, this wrecking racing, so... Now, if I survive this division, I'm going to be very impressed, but... I have a feeling this track is not, is, is not what's going to cause me to fail. It's definitely going to be the... Uh, the Red Pike Arena, I think that's what that ball was called. Red Pike Arena. Oh, 10 points already. Oh. Okay, I hit my car off of the barrier. That's no good at all. There, you're up my side. Okay, no. Yeah, I was keeping an eye on the track. That's what caused me to slip. Yeah, there's also pit stops in this as well. If you uh, to repair your car, um, I could do that, but but because of how how much I've survived in this without having to use a pit stop, I'm not really going to bother to be honest. That's what's probably that's what's probably going to come back to bite me in the, uh, in the end. It's going to come back to bite me. up. Oh, yeah, that fly is still buzzing about in my face. It's not really bothering me, but it's, it feels a bit ticklish if you ask me. Okay, a purple car is in front. I don't remember all the drivers' names on this game. I think that's uh, who's he? Rivet. I think that's what he's called. I could I could be wrong about that. I remember like there were some original names like the Trash Man, the Bouncer, or the General there. All in this, all right? Second place. Oh, that yeah, grass is always causing me to slip. Yeah, I can't leave behind me. Well, R2 and L2 are to change the view. But, no, I can't leave behind me. That's such a shame. I mean... Oh, you ended up crashing. Wow, that's quite surprising. He's way out oh. Front. Good job, announcer. I think he just jinxed that. I think you just jinxed that now, so you said I was way out in front of the- oh! Wow, someone's out of the race already. Well mind you, there's only five laps of this, so... Wouldn't really surprise me a bit. I don't know if there's anything much else left to say really, I'm still... surprised by the fact that I'm- oh. Of course, as soon as I say I'm surviving, I ended up hitting a car, and now I'm orange. Yeah, if you hit a car really hard, then your car is gonna go, well, 
change your color pretty quickly. You see, like, right there. I think I'm nearly red already, and that is not a good sign. But I'm on the final lap, so have faith. We'll see if I survive this. Oh no! Oh no, right. This isn't good. Right. It's slow down, slow down. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother using a pissed up now, it's just, it's not worth it. Oh, slow down, slow down, right, second place. Yeah, I'll take second place. Right, that's it, race is over. Okay, whoa, that was close. I actually thought my car was about to get wrecked in that one, but luckily I didn't. Oh, this episode's a bit longer than the first one. It's like 20 minutes. Let's check the table. Alright, I got 60 points, so that's good. Right, now this track is what's going to cause me to fail. I'm going to guarantee that right now. Red Pike Arena is where I'm going to fail. Because the cars are absolutely crazy in, in these bowl arenas. They are! <laughs> Whereas in the first game, they're not that bad. Right, I'm not going, I'm not being an idiot and flying in there. So I'm going to drive backwards. Just drive backwards around the area. And hopefully nobody hits me. Oh. Okay, I got 50 points for hitting an upside down car, I think. Which I'm, honestly, I'm surprised at. Oh, right. Alright, good. Got 125 points, so this is... Tense. Why are you laughing at me? Laughing at my destruction? How could you announce Oh, right. How can I really go easy on the paintwork if I'm getting just hit all the time by these cars? Okay, seven is still running good. That's still a good sign. Oh, right. Oh yeah, uh, your wheels and uh, your wheels come off your car as well. That's another thing I forgot to mention in this. Your wheels come off your car, but if they come off the car, then I'm still uh, it still counts as me still surviving because I've not wrecked the car. Oh, uh, that's constantly flashing red. That's no good. Like I said before, though, if I survive this, I'm going to be very impressed. With myself, anyway, and that, well, I mean, I'll be very impressed. Oh, right, I've lost one of my wheels. That's not good. How many left still running? Three. Oh. I'm gonna drive down here. Alright, oh, yeah, I'm about to lose my other back wheel. That's not good. Driving on three wheels is not something like that you see every day. Oh. Now it's about to be two if I if I jinx it a lot more. Now that music's gonna get annoying because it keeps looping, looping, looping. Okay, I'm gonna help my oh. So I say I was gonna help him with my front, but that's obviously not gonna happen. Oh, right. Ah! Get back here. Number 50, is it? Uh, you. Oh! It's like we're driving in circles around each other. I might as well hit them with the front because, I mean... Because if I hit them with my back, I'm just going to end up being a sitting duck. And I don't want that to happen. Nope. Oh. Hey, where's... Okay, and... Alright, no, no, don't hit any more cars, Kieran, don't hit any more. Oh no! Ah. 
At least I got some points for that, even though we didn't take my other back wheel off. Oh. Right. I think... We're the only two left, I think. Right, come on, where are you going? You've broken the rear axle! Oh, great. Well, that's it. I'm a sitting duck now. There's no way I'm gonna survive. Oh no, I can still move, but very, very slowly. Oh. Right. This isn't good. He's probably gonna wreck my car now. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I've got you now. He's like a shark swimming in water. Well, he's, he's like a shark that smells blood. I think that's the general, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the general. I, I recognise his car. He is constantly failing to hit me, I have no idea why. Oh. Again, Kieran with the jinxes. Why you keep doing th why I keep doing this? That's what I do, I guess. I'm best at jinxing everything. Uh, uh, no, oh, because of those back wheels, I'm not able to get up that hill. When you get, get over here, I want to take it out. Oh, not that way. Uh, you're not as stupid as I thought you were, General. No, he's, he's gonna wreck my car. I, I know it. Oh, I've had a good run, but I think this is where I'm going to fail, like I said before. Unless, where is he? Ah! Yep, he's gonna take all my wheels off, isn't he? He's like, yep, I'm gonna make sure he climb uh, as a sitting duck so I can take him out. Yeah, in case you didn't know, yes, my real name is Kieran. Uh, I'm just revealing that to the YouTube world right now, but you should know that from the Sally.exe game because that actually revealed my name on the computer. Oh, okay, no. I don't know what on earth he's planning to do with me, but I don't like it. Right. Oh, no. Well, that's it. It's over. At least I got a lot of points from it, though. Well, that was episode 2 of Let's Play Until I Fail. This was Destruction Derby 2. And again, thank you, Tailgame Master, for this inspiration for this series. And episode 3... Now, I haven't decided yet. Oh, well, I'm promoted. Well, that doesn't matter since the episode's over. Where was I? Oh, it was the top of the table. Nice. Along with... Oh, the scum got 260 points as well. So what was my overall points looking at Division 4? Oh, 530 points. Wow. Uh, Division 1, look at the amount of points they get, a thousand. That's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Until I Fail. This was Clarna Gamer here, and if you enjoyed this episode, uh, please feel free to like the video, comment down below for your thoughts, and also please subscribe for more Let's Play Until I Fail episodes in the near future. Until then, guys, this is Clarna Gamer here signing off, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Until I Fail. Until then, have a good day, and I'll see you later, and goodbye.